actually got so excited with other things. This is what I was going to start with. It'll be in the middle here someplace. A history of Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd. That's good? Yeah, it's good I can do that, Todd. When you invited me, I was sent this. They said, um, they said on the phone, we'll send you a booklet about the Todd. And, and I said, oh, that's great. You know, part of the world. It's terrific. And this tome <coughs> came in the post. It's heavy, but it's terrific. It's absolutely wonderful. And I, here's, you're familiar with what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. Written yeah, by U3A members. Pardon? Written by U3A members. Written by U3A members. That's why it's exciting. So, when I got to this page here, 192, it started talking about your, um, your heritage, really, in this part of the world. The beginnings of self-help, page 192 here. And the early adult education. The Todd Mechanics Institute was founded in 1836. They did wonderful things. During the year, lectures were given on elocution, galvanism, electricity, pneumatics, geology, chemical nomenclature, atomic theory, chemical affinity, and mechanics. There were also classes for chemistry, grammar, geometry, mathematics, and vocal music. What a fabulous heritage. And then I turned to page, we'll get it here, 236, almost the last page in the book. Now I think this was published in 1996, round about that time, yeah, 96. So a little bit before our time sitting in this room, but it says, the culture of cotton, chapel, and co-op, which once defined the economic and social character of Todd, is dead. The question of what survives of its tradition, traditional combination of solidarity and independence, or comradeship and cussedness, <laughs> is one for the sociologists rather than the historians. Will I venture, whoever writes the update, has figured out the comradeship and cousinness. I call it a U3A. <laughs> wonderful. And this is a wonderful book, and I thank you very much for sending it to me.